It's good to be in the house of the Lord through Zoom online service. And uh, we thank God for Yah's day. We can celebrate him in spite of all limitations. We will not allow our spirits to droop mm -hmm. down and even be depressed, but truly arise in our spirits and know that the Lord is God. He's the glory and lifter of our heads. Amen. Amen. Last Sunday, we had uh, the theme as um, high-tech media uh, from Daniel chapter 12 and verse 4. High-tech, simply meaning high technology or advanced technology. And uh, thank God, even through technology, we are able to travel and uh, to and fro we are able to communicate better, quickly, saving time, money, and energy. We thank God for all the high tech that enables us as a servant to do what we ought to do. Thank God for it. Amen. And when we talk in terms of media, we know that it is the plural form of uh, uh, medium. And so we have uh, all combined the broadcast, the publishing, as well as all things pertaining to the internet. So once again, a reminder, high tech must be a servant of high touch. Amen. Amen. And uh, never be the master of high touch. And high touch is simply having a human relationship and a personal touch one with another so that we must never ever miss that because it's not a message head to head but it must be heart to heart yeah. even in the corporate world these days they are realizing how important it is not just to have the machine but to have manpower with a heart relationship amen. amen so we want to thank god for what we did last week and i hope you have enjoyed last week during the week and uh, are blessed with the bible study and all that we have and of course your personal devotion with the word and prayer we will continue even with our 40 day uh, pray fast and we must break out for the glory of God. Amen. Amen. But today's theme is teach. Come on, say teach. teach. Amen. It's so important to be taught and it is so important to teach others Amen. because in teaching you will impart knowledge. Let's look at the TW. We would like to look at the TW. Okay. But right now I want to thank God that um, uh, the word teach, the theme teach, is of uh, 2 Timothy as a key text. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 24 to 26. Hallelujah. And a servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but be gentle to all, Amen. able to teach, patient in humility, correcting those who are in opposition. If God perhaps will grant them repentance so that they may know the truth and yes. that they may come to their senses and escape the snare of the devil, having been taken captive by him to do his will. Amen. Shall we pray? Father, we truly want to thank you for enabling us to be on the Zoom message we pray that your word would touch us in a very personal, special way. And your word would bring forth a change in our lives as we respond favorably to it. Teach us, O Holy Spirit, teach us, O Lord, that we may be a better people. We may be a different people. We may be a witness light and we would be salt in the earth. Lord God, we pray that you would bless the gardens of our hearts. 
you would continue to sow your word and water it by your Holy Spirit that we would have a beautiful garden, a fragrant garden, a fruitful garden, a garden that is so uh, beautiful that it would display the light of God. Amen. We thank you once again for this time. Bless each one of us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. We thank God for you, Abundant Life International uh, Stream Church and uh, the family. We thank God for all that God is doing in your life. And we trust that you are progressing forward, upward for the glory of Amen. God. Now looking at um, the verse that Bella just read, we, we can observe that there are seven uh, qualifications or qualities rather of a teacher here. Firstly, we see that a good teacher, a godly teacher must be a servant of God. Amen. Secondly, the teacher must not be quarrelsome must never quarrel patient, patient with those who have not understood what we have taught though who have a difficulty in understanding who are not grasping the thing you you've seen teachers in our school who have run the extra mile and what have they done they've been patient with us amen they've been straight sometimes but they've been patient with us. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. So what we want to see is that a teacher is a servant of God, is not quarrelsome, it's he's, he or she is gentle, it's a, uh, does really teach, amen, is patient, but also is humble, amen, because when you are humble, your eyes are enlightened and you, your eyes open. But when you are proud, you're, you get blinded and you cannot see and there's no enlightenment. And finally, a teacher needs to correct the student. Amen. But having spoken about the seven qualities of a teacher in this particular verse, we also see three responses that come forth to the listener and to the student. Number one, the teaching that the teacher gives and the correction that the teacher brings to the student is simply this. It leads to godly repentance. Amen. Amen. There's a returning to the truth. Amen. And may we all in the house of God be teaching in some way or the other to even a newcomer or all those who are around us, maybe our family members, our relatives, our friends, our neighbors. We need to give that input, impart, amen, and implant into another's life. Amen. Hallelujah. And um, not only bringing forth repentance, a change of mind leading to a change of heart resulting in a change of direction, but it is also knowing the truth. Hallelujah. When one knows the truth. Amen. So truth is firstly a person, the person of Jesus Christ. He is the truth. Amen. And the truth has principles, not only a person, but principles and a practice of truth. Hallelujah. And thirdly, when you know the truth, the truth sets you free. Amen. Amen. So that teaching in our lives must bring true freedom. Amen. Hallelujah. So this, these three verses that Apostle Paul writes to young Timothy, his student, his spiritual son, 
is so wonderful. Hallelujah. That brought change in Timothy's life Amen. and even those that Timothy ministered to. Praise be to God. Now, when we look at the TW, amen, we are reminded also about it being Teacher's Day. I think it's on Saturday, the yes. 5th of September. It is Teacher's Day. And I want to say a big, happy Teacher's Day to each one of us. Amen. amen. You won't have to look at members of your family and say, happy Teacher's Day. Come on. Happy Amen. Teachers because day. each one of us is a teacher in some way or the other, Amen. in some level or the other. Amen. In some field or the other. Praise be to God. And we have the perfect teacher, Jesus Christ. And he's given us another perfect teacher in the Holy Spirit who resides and presides in our lives and through our lives. Praise be to God. Amen. Let's look at a definition of teach. Teach simply means impart, to impart knowledge to or instruct someone as to how to do something. Another definition, it causes, teach causes someone to learn or understand something by example or experience Amen. praise be to God hallelujah and then I've uh, done a generism by writing godly teachers ought to teach the truth of implanting seeds of God's Word and imparting the power of the Holy Spirit so when we have the Word of God and the Holy Spirit implanted and imparted by a godly teacher, what will result is a response which will bring a change, a response that will begin to uh, bring that transformation in a person's life. And when one person changes, a marriage can change. A family can change, a neighborhood can change, a friend circle can change, Amen. relatives can change, a suburb can change, a village can change, a town can change, a city can change, and a state can change, and a nation can change, and this world can change. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to Hallelujah. God. Amen. A teacher in the Greek equivalent of the Hebrew word called rabbi or rabboni, rabbi, which means master, my master, praise God. Amen. Jesus was a rabbi. He was the perfect teacher that the Bible speaks about in the Gospel of John, the 21 chapters portraying the 21 characteristics of Jesus Christ, the perfect teacher. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. In John chapter 3, he teaches the teacher. He teaches the rabbi, a wonderful man of God called Nicodemus, yeah. who humbled himself and came to Jesus to learn from the rabbi yeah. of rabbis. Yeah. Hallelujah. God is good. Amen. And so when we look at this whole area of teacher, we must know that uh, in three areas, a teacher instructs in song. For example, a music teacher, uh, a teacher that is in charge of the choir or the orchestra. Amen. Moreover, it says in First Chronicles 25, 1. Moreover, David and the captains of the army separated for the service some of the sons of Asaph, yes, of Haman, of and Asaph. of Jetutun, who should prophesy with harps, stringed instruments, yes. and cymbals, and the number of the skilled men performing their service was... Amen. 
So here we see a teacher instructs, he chooses skilled people and then teaches and brings forth a beautiful music, a beautiful song amen. with people with voices, amen, all the four voices, glory be to God. Number two, amen, John chapter three, verse two. This man came to Jesus by night and amen. said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, Amen. for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Amen. Basically, a good teacher comes from God. And we see Jesus came from God and therefore he did all the signs that followed him. Amen. And uh, Nicodemus recognized that. Amen. Students will always recognize good teachers. Amen. You surely know who are the good teachers in your life. Amen. Number three, to the Gentiles, Second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 11. To which I was appointed a preacher, an apostle, and a teacher of the Gentiles. Amen. Apostle Paul was um, called to the Gentiles and he really taught them well Amen. and he had to do a thorough teaching because the Gentiles never had the background of the Torah of the Old Testament they were not in Judaism so he had to start from scratch and in fact they had to unlearn many things Amen. before they could learn the truth just like Moses he unlearned the for 40 years the things that he learned for 40 years in Egypt, in the University of Alexandria. And when he unlearned it, he began to learn in faith in God. Amen. And it was 40, 40, 40, 120 years of the servant of God, Moses. Amen. So you're teaching the Gentiles. Amen. I'm so glad that Joy Bell could be involved in this social uh, uh, action by going to Danu and teaching the tribal children. What did she teach them? She taught them two things. One is English, the English language, and secondly, basic computer knowledge. And so these tribal children were really doing well. Amen. We need to teach people from scratch. Amen. And get them on, on board so that Amen. they would be good learners and then become teachers in their own spheres. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And then we come to uh, teaching or teachers and those capable of teaching. Amen. There are six people here mentioned who are capable of teaching. Number one, it's parents. Amen. Amen. Parents have to be good teachers towards their children. They are the best disciplers, amen, of their children, amen? amen. So you cannot depend just on the Sunday school, amen? The, the, uh, the children's church, no. You have to do the solid teaching during the week and on a Sunday morning on the Sunday, at the Sunday service, there are wonderful teachers will only remind them of what they know. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So that will be strengthening the faith. So parents, Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 19. You shall teach them to your children, speaking of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down and when you rise up. Wow, the Jewish parents were, were taught by the Lord to have teaching of their children to the next generation as a lifestyle. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When they are sitting, when they are rising, when they are walking, when they are lying down, it's teach, teach, teach. Amen. Amen. When you teach, 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 there's no need of much counseling to do. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Number two. The Levites taught Levi Leviticus chapter 10 verse 11. And that you may teach the children of Israel all the statutes which the Lord has spoken to them 
by the hand of Moses. Oh, the Levites were in charge of teaching the law to the children of Israel. Amen. And they received it from the leader, Moses. The law came through Moses, Amen. but grace and truth came through our Lord Jesus Christ. So in the new covenant, we as a royal priesthood must teach grace, hallelujah, and truth. Understood? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Grace is that enablement. Praise be to God to know the truth. Glory be to God. Number three, our very ancestors, Jeremiah 9, 14. But they had walked according to the dictates of their own hearts and after the Baals, which their fathers taught them. Oh my, when you look at the ancestors, it's, it's a mixed bunch. There are people who have a really godly lineage. And I know people who know who have uh, pastors in their families for six generations. Wow, isn't that wonderful? It's so it's it's a godly family. But some of us do not have that privilege of having godly ancestors. We've come from broken homes. We we may not even know who our parents were, and uh, it's so sad. But yet. When we come to Christ, all that is broken, all that is a curse, turns around and it turns into a blessing. It turns into wholesomeness. It turns into healing. It turns into a blessing. Amen. Praise be Thank to you. God. So it is important when we come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Positionally, we are no longer cursed but blessed. But experientially, we are still blocked by that block and that obstacle and that demon and that hindrance and that uh, kind of family demon because of the family uh, false altar, the family idol and family God and all kinds of complications. So the, this uh, needs a clean up. It needs a sanctification. Amen. You may be justified by faith. Amen. But you need to be sanctified also by faith. And therefore, the caging incantations are cut off. You are no longer in bondage. So ancestral generational curses must be cut off Amen. in Jesus' name. Bondages of the past besetting sins must be cut off because maybe of your upbringing or the circumstances that you were stuck in, you need to get out. Maybe the traditions of men and the traditions of your seemingly native place or your village or your background of maybe Catholicism or Hinduism or Islam or Buddhism or atheism whatever ism you have you have to be cleaned up yeah. from the inside out hallelujah and there are certain customs and uh, habits and cultures which may be good but some of them are really ungodly and demonic and we need to break those break from those yeah. and be set free Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In this pray and fast, let's break out. Amen. We are in the 29th day. Today is the 30th of August. Praise mm -hmm. be to God. Number four, the teachers are disciples because when they are disciples, they go in turn and make other disciples. Mm -hmm. Matthew 28 verses 19 and 20. Go therefore mm -hmm. and make disciples of all the nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to teaching observe them. all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God for Christ's great commission. It's a command of a mission. Amen. And when we look at it, there's no distinction between male and female. There's no distinction between old and uh, young. There's no distinction 
between rich and poor or, or Jew and Gentile. It's simply told that we need to go. When mm. we come to God, we need to go. So yeah, there's Baba. a come first and there's a go principle involved. When we go and we make, we preach the gospel, we make disciples of all nations. We have a world vision. Amen. The nations is the Greek word ethnos, which is the ethnic groups. Amen. Not only political nations of the world, but ethnic groups and we need to reach out to all the people groups Amen. hallelujah in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit jesus is saying this to just explain to the disciples of the triune godhead yes. hallelujah the whole triune godhead is involved in evangelism in the great commission hallelujah and they are helping us and they are with us and working not we are not working for them we are working with them Amen. for they are in us hallelujah Amen. and then teaching them hallelujah there's no distinction here between pastors teachers prophets evangelists oh my 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 the whole body of christ is motivated to go out Amen. and preach the gospel so if you are not preaching the gospel better start today amen even through your mobile through whatsapp and whatever sms's or through the internet use it for the glory of god amen. hallelujah teaching so every believer can be a teacher and must be doing teaching hallelujah hallelujah amen. as the lord has commanded us Thank and he you. says i am with you not for some time not for your evangelistic program i am with you always amen. so witnessing evangelism must be a lifestyle just like worship is a lifestyle witness must be a lifestyle amen Hallelujah. Amen. We are the lovers of the Word of God and the Holy Spirit of God, even to the end of the age. Amen. Fifthly, older women. Titus 2 3. The older women, likewise, that they be reverent in behavior, not slanderers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things. Hallelujah. So in Titus, it's. Wonderful. Paul is encouraging Titus, amen, to instruct the older women to be good teachers and help the younger women. And they can be examples by their experience and be godly teachers. We saw in Timothy himself, he had a godly lineage being from a Gentile background, his grandma, Lois, was a believer and she imparted the genuine faith. And then his mother, Eunice, also did the same to the next generation, to Timothy. Hallelujah. Yeah. But we see it is godly teaching from grandparents and parents that really, um, uh, you know, hit the bullseye. Amen. Sixthly, nature. First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 14. Does not even nature itself teach you that if a man has long hair, it is a dishonor to him? Oh my. You observe things in nature. So many things can be taught to you by nature. You look at the eagle. You know, one male eagle with a female eagle will never divorce that female eagle it is committed and loyal to that eagle for life isn't that wonderful and we humans can learn from nature and god's creation amen about the little ant, how how industrious that little ant is and looking at the bee you know how busy it is uh uh, constructively working and bringing uh, making the honey and all kinds of things so here also when we look at uh, humans uh, we, we 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 need to 
uh, stick to what God desires of us as men, as women, amen, not men uh, portraying themselves as women and women portraying themselves as men. It's, it becomes an abomination to God because of his beautiful creation that is abused. Amen. Amen. So here we see some of the best teachers in our lives, our parents, uh, the priest, the pastors, amen, or uh, maybe our ancestors, amen, or maybe, you know, relatives, right? We as disciples, we've been discipled by others, and we are discipling others, amen. The baton goes on, and then older women, amen, people with uh, experience and giving godly advice, but more than anything, teaching. Hallelujah. And then we see it in creation. Creation itself teaches us. Look at the Christological astronomy. Of all the 12 zodiac signs not abused by man, but look at it with the purity of art, what God has created in the heavens. Right from Virgo to Leo. That's Jesus and Jesus and the gospel. Amen. Hallelujah. The birth of Christ to the millennial rule and reign of Christ. Amen. Now we look at six areas of the significance of teaching. Amen. So let's look at the first one. Teaching must be combined with preaching. Amen. Matthew chapter 4 verse 23. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in the synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of sicknesses and all kinds of disease among the people. Amen. Jesus taught in the synagogue. Then he preached outside. Amen. And he brought healing to the people. Amen. Wow, wow, wow. A simple, clear-cut vision of a ministry amen teach in the house of god preach to the world outside and bring souls to the lord and heal them in jesus name amen hallelujah hallelujah amen i believe every preaching needs teaching and every teaching needs a little preaching to give it a pep amen, amen. hallelujah Number two, divine calling. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11. And he himself gave some, uh, some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers. It doesn't say some pastors and some teachers. It just goes on to say and some pastors and teachers. Mm. Every pastor is called to teach. Amen. 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 In fact, I believe in some way or the other, the whole body of Christ, every Jesus. member needs to be preaching and teaching. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Because unless you teach, you cannot feed the flock. You cannot feed the sheep. Amen. You cannot water them well. They must be healthy. Number three, necessary for bishops. First Timothy chapter three and verse two. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, temperate, sober-minded, of good behavior, hospitable, able to teach. Amen. The key is able to teach. An overseer, Amen. a pastor, a leader, an elder is must be able to teach Amen. hallelujah and if you cannot teach you must be taught how to teach and sharpen your skills amen learn learn Thank readers you. make good leaders hallelujah amen thank you jesus thank you lord okay number four necessary for god's Bond servants from Second Timothy chapter two verses twenty four to twenty six. What we read at the very beginning, Amen. So 
uh, must be a servant of God and then uh, not quarrelsome, gentle, whatever we did, uh, must teach and be patient and um, humble. Amen. When a teacher sees someone lagging behind, they must be patient with that person and bring that person carefully forward. Amen. To catch up with the rest of the students. Hallelujah. So it is very important. Number five, from house to house. Perfect vision. Acts chapter 20, verse 20. Amen. 20, 20 vision. Praise God. How I kept back nothing that was helpful, but proclaimed it to you and taught you publicly and from house to house. Amen. This is what we are doing in the house of God. We teach in the house of God and we teach house to house as well. In the cell churches, in the care cells, in the combat cells, we're teaching, teaching, teaching. Amen. Amen. So it's important. Because when you are taught, you will embrace the truth, you will know the truth, and you will live the truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Number six, by sharing Galatians chapter six and verse six. Let him who is taught the word share in all good things with him who teaches. Amen. A teacher receives double honor Amen. because he's not only laboring in love to teach the student but also a, a godly teacher a, a teacher of the word will bless that student for this life as well as for the life to come he needs a double portion of blessing amen, amen. hallelujah praise be to god and now we move on to the authority of teaching in divine things. We'll talk about four areas. Number one, it's derived from Christ. And this verse too, we already did it in Christ's Great Commission. Matthew chapter 28 verses 19 and 20. Christ himself has implanted and imparted this vision and the word in our lives in order to do the same. Amen. He has taught us as our guru, as our master. Amen. Hallelujah. So we can be like him. Amen. And make people like him. Amen. Wonderful. Number two, empowered by the spirit. Not only derived from Christ, the teaching, but uh, we are empowered by the Spirit. John chapter 14, verse 26. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. Amen. So the Helper, the Holy Spirit, you must remember, he's not only a comforter, he's not only a counselor, but he's the teacher. Hallelujah. Amen. The teacher is inside of me. He's not a taskmaster on the outside. He's not a teacher on the outside like in school days and whacking me on the outside. But he's come on the inside of me and he's teaching me such lovely things. Hallelujah. Available 24-7. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Amen. 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 So, um, he's, he teaches us all things. Amen. And he brings to remembrance all things. Amen. Number three. We are taught by not only Christ and his Holy Spirit. We are taught by his Father, Yahweh. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 13. All your children shall be taught by the Lord. Glory be to God. And great shall be the peace of your children. Amen. Amen. We will be taught by the Lord himself. Our Father Amen. will teach us and Lord. much Thank will you. be the peace amongst his children. Amen. Thank you, Lord. When the disciples walked with Jesus on the road to Emmaus. What happened? They said, oh, That's when so he funny. spoke to us, our hearts 
were burning. Amen. Thank Hallelujah. You, there was peace. Hallelujah. When the Lord speaks to us, he teaches us there's so much of peace. There's no turmoil. There's no turmoil. Amen. There's no turmoil. When you taste of the Lord, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. Daddy is good. Our Savior Jesus is good. The Holy Spirit is good. Amen. You will truly know him. You will hear his voice. Hallelujah. You will hear his word. Amen. You will know his ways. You will know his will. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. And it originates in revelation of his word. Galatians chapter 1 verse 12. For I neither received it from man, nor was I taught it, but it came through the revelation of Jesus Christ. Amen. The revelation or the illumination that I received directly from God was this beautiful verse when I came to the Lord. First Timothy chapter 2 verse 5. Amen. There is one God. And there is only one mediator. Wow. One Savior. The man Christ Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. So, teaching will come as a direct revelation from God. If you'd like to say illumination from the revealed word Amen. of God. Amen. Now, teaching objects of divine things concerning six areas or six things. One is God's way. Psalm 27, verse 11. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in a smooth path because of my enemies. Amen. Teach me your way. When we go through trials and testings, we get really shaken up. Amen. A sickness, a disease, a, a financial situation, a loss of some near and dear one. And I want to tell you, you will not be shaken. Trust me. Amen. Because I'm trusting God. His ways are marvelous. Amen. Hallelujah. When you know His ways, you understand his ways. You will not question God and turn to him and say, why, Lord? Why me? Why me? No. God knows best. Amen. Leave it to him. Let God be God and let man be man. Amen. Amen. Don't try to portray yourself as God, knowing everything. No way. Job said he could have just grumbled and murmured. And what a motivation from the wife also, because God had died. I mean, he reached a roadblock in understanding his friends and because of some sin. They also never understood God's ways and neither did they understand Job, who was a righteous man in the eyes of God. In fact, Job was God's boast before Satan. Yes. Hallelujah. Job lived a life that was pleasing to God. They say he was affected, but he did not sin against the Lord. Amen. He lost his property, his, his, his children. The boils inflicted his own body. My, my, a rich man, one of the richest men in the East, but now was in the lying in the dust, scratching his skin, his dried up skin with broken pottery and children who once respected them are mocking him and scoffing at him. What a stage to be in. But yet this man, Job, he says, though you slay me, Lord, yet will I trust in thee. Wow, this is understanding the ways of God. We are safe and secure in the hands of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be Amen. to God. We must understand God's way. If we don't understand it, let God be God and let him be 
the sovereign ruler over your life and your circumstance and situation. Number two, God's path. Hallelujah. Psalm 25 verses 4 and 5. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. Amen. On you I wait all the day. We not only learn God's ways, which are higher than us, we learn God's path. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Teach me your paths, O Lord. The paths of peace. The paths of righteousness. Glory be to God. The paths dripping with abundance. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessings flowing, even through trials and testings. Amen. Amen. Know how to handle lack. Know how to handle abundance. Amen. Amen. Number three, God's law. Psalm 119 verses 12, 26 and 66. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. I have declared my ways and you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Teach me good judgment and knowledge. Wow. For Amen. I believe your commandments. Amen. Teach me your statutes. Amen. Your principles. Your practices. Teach me good judgment. Give me discernment. Knowledge. Hallelujah. Wisdom. Praise be to God. Amen. Oh, not only God's way, God's path, God's law, but God's will. Number four, Psalm 143 verse 10. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your spirit is good. Lead me in the land of uprightness. Amen. Teach me to do your will. Saints, this is a very important point. Jesus was sweating drops of blood. He was faced with the judgment of the Father on the cross. He knew where he was going. He had to drink of the bitter cup. And he says, if it's possible, let this cup pass by me, Father. Yet not my will. Your will be done. Your will be done. Amen. Very many. The Son of God had this crossroad in his life. This temptation. But he overcame it yes. by choosing the Father's perfect will. Amen. Which was best for him. And that was the real purpose he came into this world for. To save you and I. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when confronted with a crossroad, embrace the cross Amen. and you will do the perfect will Hallelujah. of God. Number five, holiness. Titus 2 verse 12. Teach us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously and godly in the present age. Amen. Holiness. Holiness. How can you have holiness? You don't try to be holy. You just receive holiness, the purity from God and maintain that by saying yes to Jesus, no to sin. Amen. Yes to Jesus, no to sin. Yield to the Holy Spirit and his holiness will permeate through from your most holy place, your spirit to your soul and to your body Amen. and through your body Amen. holiness will be all around you, you in you and through you amen amen be holy even as your heavenly father yes. is holy and number six spiritual truths hebrews chapter 8 verses 11 and 12. none of them shall teach his neighbor and none his brother saying know the lord for all shall know me, for from the least of them to the greatest of them. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their lawless deeds. I will remember no more. Amen. Spiritual truths will be imparted. 
to people. When you have a personal relationship with the Lord, truth will be imparted to you and there is no requirement for anyone to teach you. Amen. Amen. Because God himself will be your teacher. And when the human teacher teaches you, it will be a reminder to you and you will be remembered. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And you will be reminded of what you have studied Amen. and what you have learned from the Lord himself. Thank Amen. You, Lord. So remember that. Amen. Praise God. Now we move on to the perversion of teaching by six sources mentioned in the Bible. Number one is, number one, the perversion of teaching by false prophets. Amen. Number one, false prophets in Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 15. False prophets. The elders and honorable he is the head. The prophet who teaches lies, he is the tail. Oh my, my. When an elder or an honorable one teaches, they are the head. But when you teach lies, you become the tail. Mm. Amen. Amen. So that is it. And therefore, we must never teach lies. No old wives' fables also not cock and bull stories amen but truly the truth of god's word amen, amen. number two false priest micah chapter <clears throat> 3 verse 11. a head judge for a bribe her priests teach for pay and her prophets divine for money yet they lean on the lord and say is not the lord among us no harm can come upon us. Oh, so we don't go for bribes. If you're a judge and if you're a priest, you don't teach for pay. Amen. If you're a prophet, you do not uh, uh, divine for money. Right. Those are all uh, false priests. And therefore, we must do things unto the Lord. And it is God who provides Amen. and he will use people also to provide. Amen. God is good. Number three, the traditionalist. Matthew 15, 9. And in vain they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. Amen. You know, it's so sad. The church that I come from is the Roman Catholic Church. And... Um, uh, the problem with them is uh, they uphold God's word and they uphold the traditions of men. Now, when the traditions of men contradict God's word, they would prefer upholding the traditions of the church above the, the truth of God's word. And that's the erroneous <clears throat> doctrine and teaching. Amen. And you can go astray. And that is why they've gone so much astray. Yeah. It is important to uphold God's word alone. If the traditions of men honor God's word, then fine, let it flow. But the moment it contradicts God's word, let it be left and yeah. forsaken and cut off from our lives. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Number four, false teachers. 1 Timothy 4, 1 to 3. Now the Spirit expressing, expressly <clears throat> says that in latter times some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons, Amen. speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their own conscience sheared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry, and commanding to abstain from foods which God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. Right. Many false teachers in, uh, in these days. Amen. The Old Testament had many false prophets and few false teachers. But now there are more of uh, 
uh, false teachers and few false prophets. Now there is also a cult that has come from China and it's fast spreading in the Northeast and I think in Nagaland and uh, it's coming in different places. It's called the Church of Almighty God and they are like a militant group full of violence and um, it's, uh, it's, it's dangerous. So it is important, once again, a reminder to you, don't go into the YouTube and uh, go on the net and, uh, you know, just go on uh, surfing there and uh, looking at this teacher, that teacher, this teaching, that teaching. You will only be confused. And um, if it's not for God's grace and mercy, you can even slip into a heresy and at the cost of the salvation of your soul. So please do not do that. Amen. Uh, receive advice from your pastors and elders. And it is important for you to know the truth and the right balance dividing God's word. Mm -hmm. So watch out for false teachers. Watch out for cults. And um, amen. Mm -hmm. False prophets in Jesus name. Number five, Judaizers. Acts chapter 15 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 15 and verse 1. And certain men came down from Judea and taught the brethren, unless you are circumcised according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. They were slipping into this era and um, of um, getting the Gentiles to be circumcised and saying by grace to faith fine you are saved but you need to even accomplish this ritual of the circumcision of the male um, well uh, that was really going astray going uh, backwards into the old covenant into judaism and therefore we in the new covenant must be very clear we must know our hebraic roots yeah. but we must produce christian fruits that of the new covenant only through Jesus Christ, Hallelujah. Yahoshua HaMashiach. Amen. Make that very clear. So not back into Judaism, but coming forth in full flow with being a true born again Christian, but honoring um, and blessing the people of God, the nation of God, the land of God. Amen. The Jews, hallelujah, in Israel as a nation, for you are going to be blessed. Amen. Amen. Blessing them. False believers, number six, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 3 and 4. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, yeah. they will heap up for themselves teachers and they will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables oh my not enduring sound doctrine not enduring sound teaching that is very important but getting going for self-gratification own desires and having itching ears wanting the teacher to teach them what they want and what they will personally no way know what god wants for you know what god wills for you amen mm -hmm. don't turn aside to the traditions of men and the customs of men that do not glorify god to old wives fables and to the lies of the enemy but turn to the truth and may the truth set you free, free in Jesus mighty name now it's very clear that uh, Jesus said in John chapter 14 verse 6 I is addressing to Thomas he says I am the way the truth and the life no man comes to the father excepting through me hallelujah the way the truth and the life hallelujah praise god so that is very clear i want to look at a few verses and then we will close amen so yahoshua is the perfect teacher 
and uh, the Holy Spirit given to us by him is the perfect teacher Amen. residing, presiding in us. Amen. Hallelujah. Resident, president in us. Amen. He will teach us uh, the truth and the truth will set us free. Amen. Okay, let's look at First John chapter 2 verses 20, 26 and 27. I'll read, but you have an anointing from the Holy One mm. and you know all things. Thank you, Jesus. Praise be to God. Now here, Apostle John is instructing the children, the young and the fathers of the church about the spirit of the Antichrist and against false teachers. Amen. Amen. So he's making it very clear. Do not be confused. You have an anointing within you. Hallelujah. From the Holy One. And you know all things. Verse 26. These things I have written to you concerning those who try to deceive you. Amen. You must not be deceived. You have the anointing within you. Come on, brother. Amen. Come on, sister. Amen. 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 Do not be caught up with Mother Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. All these cults around. Mormonism, Jehovah's Witnesses, children of God. Mm -hmm. All these kind of cults around. Verse 27. But the anointing which you have received from him abides in you and you do not need that anyone teach you but as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things amen that are mentioned in God's word and is true and is not a lie and just as it has taught you you will abide in him hallelujah so if the anointing in you is going to teach you all things then yes. why do you need human teachers no 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 the lord is not saying that he has ordained teachers in the house of god yes. he's ordained you to be a teacher but when we teach we the anointing within me for example now is teaching you and Amen. the anointing within you is reminding you and also teaching you so we are dependent on the anointing of the holy spirit to teach and to be taught hallelujah praise be to god isn't that wonderful so be blessed of the lord and be a good teacher one more verse second john second john and verse 4 second john it's only one chapter but verse 4 the instruction by apostle john is saying walk in truth verse yes. 4 says i rejoice greatly that i have found some of your children walking in truth as we received commandment from the father yes. He's talking, he's writing to an elder and he says, now I plead, just like the church, yeah, the elder is the father in the church. So he says, I've seen what some of your children, some of your children walking in truth. Man. When you are taught the truth, it's meant for you to walk in the truth Hallelujah. and then you will know the truth. And the truth will set you free. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Amen. Let me, let Bella pray. Amen. Hallelujah. I would like to pray first and then Bella will pray. Because we are into, could I have the uh, shofar? Hallelujah. And so we, we thank God for the 40 days fast. And uh, today is the 29th day and today's theme is 
Stewardship. Say stewardship. 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 We are all called to be stewards. Mm -hmm. Amen. We are all called to be managers. Amen. Amen. We must manage uh, the things that God has entrusted us with. If it's little, God and you are a good steward, God will entrust you with even more. Amen. Amen. So be faithful as if it's your own, but knowing that God owns it all. So I would uh, like to pray quickly. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we truly want to thank you for the truth of your word that makes us true teachers. And we would see everyone walk in the truth and know the truth and the truth would set us free. Amen. Yes, we would Lord. break out from our spirits mm -hmm. into our souls, into our bodies and Amen. through our bodies. Amen. 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 Yes, the Holy Spirit residing, presiding would shine out Christ in us, the anointed one in us and his anointing. Hallelujah. For the glory of God. Amen. Father, we pray that your grace, your amazing grace, as we did the first song this uh, morning. Oh Lord, your amazing grace. Yes, oh God, how sweet the sound yes. that saved a wretch like me. Your grace would abound in our lives. Not only in salvation, but in sanctification and in glorification. Hallelujah. The enablement. Thank you for your mercy. Oh Lord, we give you glory. You've had mercy on us. You continue to have mercy on us on a daily basis. May your truth set us free in our spirit, soul, and body. May we be lovers of the truth of your word Amen. in Jesus' name. And build up faith and build up our most holy faith in prayer by speaking in tongues, praying in tongues. We thank you for the blessed thank hope you, that we have thank that you, will Lord. purify us. Thank you, we thank you, Lord, for the love, the sacrificial, selfless love of God, Amen. the God kind of love, the agape, Amen. which is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Amen. Spirit, the perfect love, Amen. which cast out all fear. May that love, you, we may be able to love you and love Amen. one another. Hallelujah. And Lord, we would from time to time repent of our wicked deeds mm -hmm. and turn away from all kinds of temptation yes, and Lord. forsake the things that are not of you, Amen. besetting sins Amen. in the name of Jesus. Have a change of mind, mm -hmm. leading to a change of heart, resulting in a change of direction. Thank we you. would have the fountain of joy in our lives, Amen. the joy of the Lord, which is our Hallelujah. strength. Lord, Thank as we you. continue to Christ. fast and pray, mm -hmm. we would enjoy the shalom Hallelujah. of the Lord, the peace of the Lord, mm -hmm. peace of mind. Amen. Hallelujah. Not like the world living in turmoil. Peace of mind. Hallelujah. Peace of heart. You, peace of home. Hallelujah. Paths of peace. We would have patience. Oh Lord, that long suffering. Hallelujah. Not grumbling, not murmuring. Even during this COVID-19 time. Persevering, Amen. enduring Amen. to the very Amen. end. Yes, Thank Lord. you for kindness, oh, love and action. Oh, oh Lord, that Thank loving you. kindness. Oh Lord Amen. God, we pray for goodness. Bless your Lord. goodness, oh Lord, that comes from you. Become our goodness and through us as goodness to others. Faithfulness and loyalty, Lord and God. Full of faith and yes, loyalty Lord. to yes, you Lord. and to one yes, another. Lord. To Thank the you, local Lord. church Thank in you, the name of Jesus. You, Lord. Hallelujah. Loyalty. Loyalty. Hallelujah. Thank Faithfulness. We pray for Lord. gentleness, Lord. Lord. It is your gentleness Lord. that has made us great. Lord God, give us self-control as the fruit of the Spirit, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When to say yes, when to say no, that our yes be yes and our no be no. In the name of Jesus, what is good for us. Lord, your wisdom, your practical knowledge in our lives. Pearls of wisdom on a daily basis, making thousands of decisions, each one of us. Lord, may they all be right decisions. Lord, Amen. Amen. Godly decisions with an understanding that is ungirding us, establishing us. Hallelujah. Understanding your ways 
we would have the knowledge of your word, the heart knowledge Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Grow in your grace. Grow in your knowledge in Jesus name. Amen. We would have healings for our bodies Amen. and healing be instrument Amen. of Amen. healings to others Amen. Lord. Heal the broken heart. Amen. Heal the disease. Amen. Heal Lord the sick Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Heal the mind in the name of Jesus hallelujah we remember our dear sister Lord God even Amen. Matilda yes, bring your healing Amen. virtue into Amen. her life yes, heal her pancreas yes. heal her body Lord. Yes, Lord heal her completely yes, we thank you Lord God you are the healer Amen. and she needs your Amen. healing she needs the healing Amen. of Amen. as her daily Amen. bread Amen. in Jesus name we all need your healing yes, oh Lord yes, amen Lord. we need a miracle you, from you Lord you, we need a miracle from you, you in Jesus name we pray Lord God for prophecy we would prophesy uh, speak for the word of God and build up discernment yes, Lord, Lord yes, God telling the difference yes, Lord. Lord God yes, what is from hell what is from heaven what yes. is human in Jesus name we would sing in tongues pray in tongues uh, walk in tongues in Jesus name hallelujah Thank interpretation you, you, from you and the fresh anointing generosity make us big givers Lord hallelujah. generous Thank givers you. and we would know the joy of giving Amen. Thank you for your people's faithfulness Thank during you, these Lord. difficult times you, in really giving, in the grace giving. Hallelujah. Thank you for the freedom and liberty of the Holy Amen. Spirit that we enjoy. Thank you, Lord. Make us a strong leadership, Amen. leaders in the home, Amen. leaders in our places of work, leaders in the house of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah and good stewards Amen. in the name of Jesus. Let us break out. Amen. Be baptized Hallelujah. in your spirit, baptized in your word, baptized in your blood, baptized in your fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Baptized in your anointing. Amen. Bring that change. Amen. Transformation. Yes, Lord. yes Lord. Christ in us. The hope of glory. Amen. Manifest. Thank Amen. You, Glory to you, Lord. Amen.